In this video, I'll be using Groupology to configure Google Chrome to automatically install progressive web apps or client machines. I'm starting this video from my GitHub page and that's because there are a few bits of information here that I will be using for this video and I will leave the URL in the description down below. Also in the bottom of the page, you can find more of my videos that are related to this topic. For example, here you can find videos about my Windows Server setup and there is also a video about installing policy templates for managing Google Chrome settings via group policy. And here you can see the objective for this video. I will be installing Twitter, Telegram and Spotify. And now I'll begin this video by going to my VMware workstation where I have my Windows Server environment. And here I will be creating my group policy. So I'll go to Tools, Group Policy Management. I will right click on Group Policy Objects and select New. I will name the policy Chrome Settings. Then I will click OK. I will expand group policy objects. I will select the policy that I created. Then I will right click on it and select edit. And because I will be configuring this policy for my computers, I will go to computer configuration, policies, administrative templates, uh, Google, Google Chrome, and somewhere in the bottom of the page here, we should see a setting called configure list of first installed web apps. I will click on it. I will enable this policy. And here we need to provide a JSON file with all the applications that we want to install. And for that, I will go back to my GitHub page because here I have this PowerShell snippet. And here I have PowerShell objects with all the information about the applications that I want to install. You can see the URL. Also, we want a desktop shortcut. And also, we want to launch it in Windows. So this one is for Twitter, Telegram, and this one, the last one, is for Spotify. And after creating the PowerShell objects, I'm converting them into a JSON object. This allows us to use all the information in our group policy. So I'll click on the button right here to copy the PowerShell snippet. Go back to my server. I will open start menu. I will search for PowerShell. I will open it and insert the snippet here. Then I will press enter. And as you can see, it gives us this single line JSON object. So I'll copy the value. Go back to my policy settings. Insert the value here. And that's basically it. Now we can click on apply and OK. And now we can close this window. Let's go to details in here. And for GPO status, I'll select user configuration settings disabled because currently this policy has only computer settings in it. And I will leave all other settings on default. Now, after creating the policy, I need to assign it to an organization unit that is holding the computers on which I want to deploy the web apps. In my case, the organization unit will be this one and it holds all of my computers in my domain. I'll click and hold on the policy and then drag and drop it on the organization unit. Then I will click OK here. And as you can see, the setting appeared here and also in the list here. And now to test this policy, I will go to one of my client machines that I have here. I will open Google Chrome. And as you can see, nothing is happening. And that's because even though I have the policy created, I didn't give it enough time to update on my client machines. And I will do it manually. So I will go to my start menu, search for CMD. I will open it. Here I will type GP update press enter and now we need to wait a bit. And as you can see, the policy update was successful. If I minimize my CMD window here on the desktop, we can see Twitter, Telegram and also Spotify. And that means that the policy is working just fine. Let's try opening them. Twitter is working fine. Telegram is also opening up and same goes for Spotify. And that means that the policy is working just fine. And that's basically it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And see you in the next one.